Welcome to APEC 2024, showing in uh, Long Beach. I am Maurizio, Editor-in-Chief of Power Electronics uh, News, and uh, today I am here with uh, Steven Shackle, Director of Global Supply and Management at Arrow Electronics. Hi Steven, welcome aboard. Hi Maurizio, welcome to be here. And Majid Hamad, Editor-in-Chief of EDN. Hi Majid, how are you? Thanks Maurizio, good. So today is the, the first day of APEC, APEC 2024. We have attended uh, the plenary sessions with uh, really nice interesting topics and the uh, exhibition has uh, has been opened so in terms of technical in terms of plenary sessions uh, i can mention the really nice talk for example daniel fredericks uh, senior principal engineering minetronics medical talks about uh, uh, talked about uh, power electronics not only for acdc but also for medical and he talked about several topics, several applications. But Simon, let's start with you. So today is the first day. What are your expectations from APEC? Comment for the plenary session. Yeah, I think Maurizio, the expectations for APEC in general, I'm really excited for it. There's going to be a lot of new demonstrations and the, the excitement in just green infrastructure and all the in development that Power Electronics goes inside of green infrastructure is going to be quite revolutionary to see within the show. And then from the plenary sessions with Greg Lowe and, his, and the talk that he gave for Wolfspeed, it was really exciting and, and new things that Wolfspeed's doing is, is great. Indeed. So um, I can mention also uh, the talk by uh, Balu Balakrishan, uh, CEO of uh, Power Integrations. Balu talked about uh, GAN uh, technology. Greg, uh, CEO of Wallspeed, talked about uh, silicon uh, garbide. So just talking about wideband gap, Majid. So what about wideband gap? So wideband gap is uh, everywhere. Yeah. So it's uh, the most important topics discussing nowadays in, at APEC in particular. So. Tell me your comment. Yes. I think uh, this year's APEC will be a good avenue to have a reality check on wide bank, wide band gap uh, te uh, technologies yep. like silicon carbide and gallium nitride in terms of design progress. Because uh, while these uh, two technologies have have become the darlings of power electronics. Uh, and rightly so, uh, given the rise of uh, renewable energy and, and electric vehicle markets, uh, it's still important uh, uh, to note that you know there are significant challenges in terms of uh, material sciences, thermal management, and there are specific challenges uh, both for silicon carbide and gallium nitride. Uh, I think as uh, one of the speakers mentioned that uh, a silicon, uh, a gallium nitride wafer can, cause, uh, can cost uh, $30 while a silicon carbide wafer can cost as much as $1,000. So uh, for silicon carbide there are significant uh, cost and availability issues for wafers as well as substrates and I think APEC will be a very good opportunity to, to navigate uh, these issues. Uh, likewise, gallium nitride uh, has been uh, doing well at 600 volts and uh, 650 volts, mostly for cell phone chargers and uh, laptop adapters, but they want to move uh, now up the ladder and there has been a talk about uh, 1200 volts. We will see how viable is that. But uh, as I said, I think APEC will be a good venue uh, to uh, monitor and, and observe the actual design progress these two materials uh, have made by now. Thank you. So indeed, uh, we have also uh, received some news from uh, from the industry. For example, I can mention Texas Instruments with the new 100 volt GAN power stage, uh, and uh, but also Microchip uh, expanded uh, uh, the silicon carbide solution with the 3.3 kilovolt XIFM plug and play MC gate driver. This for the silicon carbide uh, packaging. So Stephen. Just talking about the wideband gap semiconductor. So we we will see 
a lot of market uh, devices, application, not only silicon carbide, but also, also GAN. Maybe we are talking about GAN on silicon, but uh, in terms of substrate, uh, with, uh, instead of silicon, maybe other substrate that can at the end compete with silicon carbide. Tell me your comment about uh, wideband gap from market point of view. Yeah, there, for wideband gap, I see silicon carbide is in this phase now of it's getting into designs, customers are familiar with the material itself, and they're starting to go to production with silicon carbide. For gallium nitride, it's a little bit, be little bit behind where silicon carbide is today. People are still playing with it, they're getting familiar with the technology itself, but it's becoming really uh, on, the, on the edge of becoming that new technology that new designs are starting with. And then from there, as before, there's a lot of design activity happening right now and, and the manufacturers of silicon carbide and GAN are trying to do evaluation platforms, demos, and that's what I'm really excited about seeing at APEC this year is seeing some of those demos. There's a few that stand out to me this year one is the 30 kilowatt reference design that eInfo Chips and Infineon collaborated on together. The other is with Wolfspeed and their 11 kilowatt integrated motor drive demonstration. And then you have those demonstration platforms and reference designs, but then on Semi putting on their Elite Power Simulator is a way for engineers to simulate and see device performance before actually going to hardware. So those are some. View, cool demos that I'm looking to, to get a view at APEC this year. Great, so thank you, Steven. So I guess that uh, also the, the word that we can say is the sustainability and the power semiconductor, wideband gap, uh, IGBT also uh, are important topics that are around uh, sustainability, not only renewable energy. Of course, we need to increase efficiency in this, uh, in this case. Uh, Majid, talking about not wideband gap in this in this case, uh, I can mention uh, a news that I have received this uh, this morning uh, by Infineon with uh, a new uh, Optimus MOSFET uh, with novel packaging and uh, proprietary magnetic uh, structure. This is uh, a new component for I can say data center. So because uh, artificial intelligence is another topic that is uh, is driving exponential increase in terms of global data generation, and we need to take care of the energy consumption. And Infineon um, released this new 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 product. So tell me your comment about not wideband gap. I guess that there is uh, another big market. Yeah, I think uh, power electronics is a very large pond, and a lot is going on. In, in, in other areas like DC to DC power conversion. In fact, on the opening day yesterday, uh, there were some very good sessions on uh, uh, modern magnetics, on, uh, 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 on, on data center energy, mm -hmm. and battery management system testing. And also today, uh, there were some very valuable sessions uh, in terms of design education. Uh, one was about EMI, e EMC debugging with oscilloscope. Another mm -hmm. one was about solid state transformers. And then, of course, uh, you know, DC, DC power conversion uh, with an, uh, a focus on, uh, on energy efficiency and, 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 and power density has always been a key highlight uh, at APEC. And it, it's the case uh, this year as well. I think uh, also. Uh, today there were some very good s sessions about uh, uh, power uh, fundamentals like uh, gate drivers, uh, motor drives, and uh, wireless power transfer. And also uh, Towers Semiconductor had a very good s session on uh, power management device manufacturability. So a lot is going on outside the realm of uh, the wide band gap at this year's APEC as well. Thank you. So also, uh, I can mention also another news that uh, we have received on SEMI with the, the uh, seventh generation IGBT based intelligent power module to reduce energy consumption, just to stay on the same topic. This is for heating and, and cooling uh, uh, application. Uh, so in terms of plenary session, let me add some uh, other, other topics about the, the talk. So in particular, uh, there was a, a talk about fusion energy. I guess the fusion is a uh, hot topic 
and uh, um, we need uh, fusion maybe so just thinking now and uh, in the next uh, in the next year we should start understand how to to use this fusion energy and another topic uh, about uh, data center so uh, the, the speaker francesco carobolante the intel corporation talks about the future of ai talked about the future of AI uh, inside the process, so because we need a lot of data, as we, we mentioned, and we need also to take care about energy consumption. So, we are in conclusion. Uh, Steven, thank you for your, uh, to be a guest today. Thanks a lot for this uh, insightful interview today. Thank you very much, Maurizio, for having me. I'm looking forward to APEC this, this week. Exactly, and Majid, we, we will talk tomorrow with another day, another uh, video where we will collect other news and other information. See you tomorrow. Thanks, Maurizio. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.